you imagine being a guitar player without fingers? Or what about roller skating with only one leg? Well, there's an artist in Knox County, Indiana, who's still making art, even with a handicap. It's what's making headlines in our Southern Bureau tonight. Now, we do want to warn you, you may find some of these images graphic. News 10's Eric Stidman reports. You've heard the phrase, the eyes are the windows to the soul. Without them, this would be your view. And for someone looking in, what would they see? Meet Tommy Earl. He's a Knox County Jail inmate. Got caught manufacturing. Well, got, with, got taught, caught with the materials that are used to manufacture. And a very, very good artist. But for how much longer? I'm over half blind. One eye I can't see out of and the other one's going. I've got acute neurological glaucoma. Eventually, I'll be completely blind. Words hard to swallow for this jailhouse Picasso who can barely see. So how, how do you do this then? I don't know. I've never been able to answer that question. I'm 43 years old. I, I don't know how I do it. I draw on anything I can get my hands on. I was drawing on the corner of his desk this weekend. Earl just completed his most recent piece, a sheriff's badge on the wall of the sheriff's office. He's done artwork for uh, Indiana Department of Corrections. And now that he's here in our facility, we're utilizing his talents to uh, refurbish our admin side and touching up the jail side. The labor is free and the pain is paid for out of jail commissary money, which means the taxpayers aren't picking up the tab either. You know, there's probably a rumor out there that you run a pretty tight, pretty tough jail. We, people know that. We try to. But uh, in doing so, though, we have to realize that these people are inmates and eventually will go back into society. Which is reason enough to let these inmates exploit the positives in their lives. I turn on the music and it doesn't matter if I'm painting a star, if I'm painting a blue, it could be a big black circle. If that's what I feel like painting at the time, it really doesn't matter. And I'm not nowhere when I'm painting, I'm just painting. I'm proud of it. It looks, uh, it's distinguishable. But unlike this image that could last on this wall forever, when the other eye goes, it may be lights out for Tommy Earl's art abilities. That's fine, because they told me a year ago I'd be blind. In Knox County, I'm Eric Stidman, News 10. The other piece of artwork you saw in this story is also Tommy's. It's part of a mural he's working on in the jail.